This is the first shots of the car color back together. It's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, this is the best part, right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into it. You've got the purple and the carbon, right? So the, the best part about this color is that it matches so well with all the carbon on the outside. What do you think, Mario? You know, at first when you said purple, I definitely wasn't sure. Because it looks super sick, black with the gold wheels, but as it's coming together, it's definitely looking nicer. Be the, the, way I, the reason I say stuff is that, sorry, the reason I'm saying something is because the purple on the carbon, right? right. You see the accents, right? That's why it has to have black wheels. Yeah. That's why I'm like, look, the gold wheels don't really fit the situation. So we're going to get the car. The gold wheels will go on this car for one day. But this car just becomes so classy. Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and it doesn't awkwardly bulge in your pocket. It really cleaned up my pocket situation. And it's the perfect Father's Day gift for fathers, like me, a father. Since the early 90s, we've moved away from those big floppy phones. Thankfully, the Ridge Wallet has done the same thing for your pocket situation. It comes in 30 different styles and colors, and it can hold up to 12 cards plus cash. My favorite is the Forge Carbon style that we have right here. The Ridge Wallet is amazing, but if you don't want to take my word for it, go ahead and read the 30,000 five-star reviews that the Ridge Wallet has. Now with this, it's made of completely durable material. So, you'll only need one for life, and it does come with a lifetime warranty. Also, we're here to let you test drive this bad boy. So you get 45 days, if you don't love it, money back guarantee. The Ridge Wallet team is super confident in their product and so are we. We got a special offer for you today for Father's Day. You get 10% off, free worldwide shipping. All you have to do is click the link in the description or go to ridge.com forward slash royalty to get that 10% off and free worldwide shipping. Again, link in the description or ridge.com forward slash royalty. Use promo code royalty to get 10% off, free worldwide shipping. Anywhere in the world, Ridge has you. Today's the day that we've dropped the Koenigsegg off at the fabricator to get the turbo kit started. Now we're starting to do disassembly. Now you're, you're gonna see the car in its fully painted form. Now I really don't wanna like release the car complete because I don't have my wheels yet. I don't have all the stuff yet, but all the body panels are painted. The headlight or the tail lights aren't installed along the lines. There's a couple things that we're missing. And I just, you're gonna see it, but just don't look at it and like, think that it's finished because it's nowhere close to finish. There's obviously no interior. So we're, once we get the interior installed, we'll do like a full release video. Um, on the way there, you guys get to see my brand new Cullinan. So I got a 2021, say hi to Tony. I think he's in hey. there somewhere. Uh, I went with uh, white interior. I wanted to go something crazy. We've got uh, Starlight in this one. Still got the uh, car seats in the back. Uh, this one's a little nicer than my other one. My other one had a little bit higher MSRP. It was like a 420 car. This is a 400 car. So it's it's kind of weird because the only thing that this one doesn't have that the other one did is the uh, rear tables. Sorry, the TVs. But what I realized with my, my girls, uh, they kick them all day long. <laughs> because their car seats sit up high. So I chose to order this one without tables but i like the white on white the white is so pure it's so peaceful like when you get in here it feels like i'm like super zen right yeah and it's quiet and it's, it's everything you need it to be yeah everything. um i also did get the the vf engineering tune Ooh. so hopefully we'll put that on soon i've uh haven't had much time to do it it takes about two hours to kind of sit there and do it i think i think it takes about two hours <laughs> that's what it says in the manual so uh the fabricator's down the street we're gonna head to the fabricator right now it's uh the fabricator on instagram oh. He's the same guy that did the turbo kit for the Ford GT. He's doing a great job. I'm really happy that I met um, him because it's so easy to work with people that are like two blocks away. And uh, Justin's been very, very, very just, just straightforward. You know, that's the best part about it. Look, I got the stock wheels on here right now. I'm digging the black look. I had, we had gold on here originally because Randy put the gold wheels on, but I don't know. I don't like purple on gold doesn't look bad by any means but I've got a very crazy color interior going into the car, so I don't necessarily think that the purple is gonna match with the interior. It's kind of like a, 
it, it's a little bit more complicated. I think the black looks good. And I, actually, look, obviously we're not going to keep the OEM factory wheels in the car, but they do look pretty good. I like the spoke design. I'm probably going to take some of this and make, basically make an iteration. I'm, I'm thinking of a really fancy iteration of the Agera Blade wheel. I really like that wheel. That one, I haven't really seen too many of them have it because they went to the carbon fiber five spoke. So back in 2013, if you guys take a look back, there's a really cool looking blade wheel, but uh, let's not get too far into that one here. We've got to remove all of the exhaust pieces, factory Koenigsegg parts, and uh, that's what Justin's doing right now. So here, these are actually really cool. I like this white ceramic coated thing. It looks super sick, um, but they're not gonna work with the turbo application. So our plan is to remove all of this right here today. Um, that includes the uh, Rotrexes, the, well, unfortunately the air conditioning lines because that's gotta come out. This is a collector. So both Rotrexes shoot into this thing and that goes up into the intercooler. Um, and then it uh, comes out, goes back in the engine. So all that's gonna get taken out. On this side, it's pretty straightforward. Just a header right here, just this piece. That's yeah. why I'm starting on this side. It's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. At least you get something done today, Warming right? Up here, you You're know, like, okay, you know what? That. I think if we just complete this side, we're going to be good. Uh, while we have this whole thing taken apart, I do want to fix some of the fittings on this because we do have some sweating on, on these fittings here. And, you know, AN fittings, I think they just get old mm -hmm. because they look fine. Well, the O-ring style that's on here, they're probably what's seeping out of it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Just a straight AN. Yeah, we'll just maybe replace the O wings then. But I just don't like the red. That all that just drives me nuts. The red and blue from from the old race car days. Now that we have black, let's just let's just keep it with the black. Let's just make it look like it's professional. I'm sure, you know? I can source those no problem. Yeah, um, that's interesting. The radium tank. Oh, did you disconnect that from the top? No, it was okay. Like everybody says, like that when I got it. Yeah, nice. Uh, everybody says yeah, it. I don't know where. Yeah, where it, actually goes. Uh, it goes on the top. It just probably. Oh was uh, was not bolted back in because obviously the, yeah. the the factory thing is right there but yeah well i'm happy with uh, the way this is turning out the color's looking fresh everything's looking really good i dig the purple yeah the purple one looks one, good I'm sure it it's definitely one of one it looks like a very modern part i mean it's so cool it's really cool we could see the front of this car now so see i just made the front look better it just looks better you know there, there's just no little lights and there's just no squares. It just has more of a, just an aggressive, better look to it. The purple really, really sets the car off, especially with the black. And obviously the calipers, which look really nice. All right, enough for one day. It's time to eat. And it's probably time to go pick up something that's broken from the weekend. Absolutely. What do we have? Uh, what don't we have? What? <laughs> Got 19 claims right now. Yeah, pretty much. Is there anything we got to go pick up at a hotel somewhere? Um, well, there's a slingshot. Okay. There's always a slingshot. There's always a slingshot, but no, not as far as cars. No, no cars this weekend? No cars we have to pick up. All right, got them. Better. These are the 321s. Oh, those are fancy. They're a lot. These are actually made in the U.S. Nice. These ones are not. So I told them to give me both. Just but in those case. Those are those are a lot more stout. That's the ones you want to put on there. Yeah. So he gave me both just to do like a comparison video. I'm like, well, maybe. That's pretty good. But uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the clamps we need right there. These I was gonna do for your turbo inlets. Yeah. But. Quick release plug. Yeah, those are that's perfect. Okay. You know, those are so hard to install for the first time. Yeah, After you once get to do them once enough. you get it in, enough, you get them really down really good, yeah. and it, it really makes it easy. These are also not imported. Yeah, nice. They're made in uh, they're made in LA. Well, those clamps are pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. There's not very many moving parts to those clamps, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just usually when it, when it comes to like our, the welding side of things, when you get some imported stuff that you know nothing about, it yeah. is. Because the they, they have collective well. metals in there, right? Is yeah. that the problem? Because like, I was, I'm overhearing and learning a little bit from you. Yeah. But the metal that goes into this is not always a hundred percent 
what, what they says. say they are. Yeah. yeah, that's what we call mystery metal. Yeah, and you don't know until you actually start welding it, and you're like, "What the hell's going on with this?" And exactly. then you realize, "Oh yeah, well that's some bullshit they put in there instead of the uh, actual stuff." Yeah. So yeah, these are all Vangen Wigan style Beautiful. whatever you want. So we'll hook your whole system up with those. The turbos, hopefully they'll be in really soon. We're going full on with those. Uh, dual ceramic ball bearings, V-band in, V-band out, cast collectors. Um, the whole works should be really, really good. That'd be dope. Yeah, and then just some fun metal here. Yeah, these waste are just gate, they, That's wastegate stuff right here? Well, no, they, uh, they're now bending up thicker wall stuff, so I'm gonna try this out instead of using the uh, cast elbows like I usually do, but I think it's gonna be too tight in there to where I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna have the space to run these. So I'll probably still have to run the cast stuff. Okay. But I got it here just to try just it out. Just in case. Yeah. These flanges and stuff, these aren't for you. They're just for just to while I'm there. Stock up on parts. Yeah, mine as well. I know Andy's always like, I need parts locally. First problem we've got with the Koenigsegg. So Justin, master fabricator, cannot remove a bolt, huh? Can we edit that part out? Because <laughs> the majority of my crowd doesn't know that I smoke. <laughs> well, I think this particular problem calls for an emergency situation, right? So let's just start with the good news. The good news is, is uh, we've got all of these things. Look at those, man, brand new. Ro these are brand new, you know that? These must have maybe 100, 110 miles on the car. Oh, I don't know. That's it. I mean, I bought them like, I don't know, last year. Or this is a motorcycle lift and that comes out. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> the day, this is, Justin, to be honest, this is how this day is going, correct? Uh, so, Andy is, wow, look at how, how much space we have. Yeah, that part's exciting. Um, I got a good idea. I want to cut something. Yeah, I, got some what? Awesome saw. I want to cut something. <laughs> I, I really do. Look at that. I, I mean, I feel like, so right here we got this stud. So there's a problem because there's a bolt. And it may be a little bit of left side. All right. So you guys can't really see it on this camera, I know. But uh, above that stud directly, there's a bolt that's slightly stripped. And uh, this cannot move because that stud goes through. And it goes through that thing right there. You see those spacers. So the other ones are already out. Um, this one poses some issues. Because in order to really get there, we got to take this out and cut that off so we can get that out. But maybe Andy's got some special tools. We can probably take the battery out right behind it to the room. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, and the batteries are very difficult to replace, so we probably should just replace the batteries while we're here, you know? Because from the dealer, I mean, these are from June 20th of 2019. That is a month before I actually bought this car. Um, I, how, time flies. Like, can you believe that I bought this car in 2019? It's unbelievable. And now it's 2021 already. Um, and we're finally modding it, which is ridiculous. Yeah, we paused, yeah, skip we that. skipped 2020. So I really only owned this car for a few months. But uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Right here, what is your plan? What do you think? You want to take this AC compressor out and get a little bit more room? Can't do it with the bracket below. Can't get the AC compressor out at all, huh? Nope. Even backwards? No, so there's a bolt up top. Yeah. Mm. Try to get it out of there, it's the bracket. Dang. Yeah. Dang. So I was all over that one, but. That was the first step? There's a bunch of these that were that were all stripped out, and then a bunch of the, the supercharger bolts that were backed out, and like rubbing on the backside of one of the tensioners and stuff. I mean, most of them were hand tight. But this is, the, this is actually really ones. ironic. So one of the major issues with this car is, I, I don't really want. There's really nothing negative, but as you can see right here, if you see there's some issues with the belt. There's a lot of things that go wrong with this dual supercharger system, oh. in general. But that's obviously why Koenigsegg decided to switch from this system to the other system, uh, which would be turbochargers, uh, in that time frame. 
Now, if you guys could pay attention, there's this is the oil pan, I guess it's a dry sump. Also, it's the engine brace, right? Which is really, really cool. I mean, that's so fucking cool. But I bet you this causes a lot of issues with vibration and everything is backing out all the time. Because when I owned this car, uh, previous to Randy doing the modifications, Andy and I had tons of issues with this tensioner pulley for, this, for, the, for the, uh, the superchargers. There's a tensioner that kept breaking springs, it kept backing bolts out, it kept doing all these problems. So now we're, we're gonna solve that problem and uh, we're gonna work on getting this bolt out so I can kind of figure out how uh, I can show you guys what we're gonna do to improve all of these little functions. Is there another one? Well, you have the bottom piece, right? Is this? No, it's the stud. Is this connected here, though, to this? It's the bolt already up. Oh. It's just this one wants to be a real am effort. It's not polite. Well, it's getting looser. I wonder if this is like the longest bolt on there too. Jeez. Next time start with the hard ones first. <laughs> so at least it feels like you're doing something productive, you know? Well, now I know which ones. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time. How many of these are there in the States? There's six. Six of them. Well, six manual. So there's a 44 or 46 of these that are uh, with automatics as well. In the States? Uh, I don't know that they're, you know, that's really difficult. I got, I should, whoa, there it goes. There's our bolt. Yep. We are never putting that bolt back in. Now the spacer. Very happy to make that happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It just feels good seeing all of that. Man, those studs, dude. What a crazy, that's just a crazy design. It's not designed for you to remove this piece while the car is together. I'm sure. Oh, supercharger bracket removed. There we go. I almost want to throw it on the floor, but that'd be. I uh, like some monster garage. Just yeah. <laughs> chuck it somewhere. Now we can replace our battery. All right, guys, if you know it's me, you know what time it is. It's giveaway time. You guys did an amazing job on the last video, and we want to thank you for giving us all those amazing likes. So we got some amazing things to give away today, one of those being merch, one of those being merch, one of those being a Ferrari car cover. One of our first winners is Ryan Olson. Ryan Olson, you're going to make sure you DM us on Instagram. Make sure you show us proof that you did like the video. We see that you wrote us a nice comment, so that's always great. Our next winner for a piece of merch is JT. J-A-Y-T, don't know how to say it, but either way, you won some free merch as well. DM us on Instagram, proof that you liked the video, and it'll be yours. Last but not least, MJD, give it to me. Ugh. We got this beautiful Ferrari car cover. You guys said you wanted some of this stuff, so we got you. MJD, go ahead and uh, DM us on Instagram. Make sure you show us proof that you did like the video, and you'll be good to go. Now. For the next giveaway, we're gonna shoot for 15,000 likes. We're gonna give away a free rental, we're gonna give away some merch, and we're gonna also give away some gift cards. Just in case you guys wanna splurge on yourself, we're gonna give you guys some gift cards. So 15,000 likes on the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and keep on commenting, guys. Get us to the top of the recommended list. Like, subscribe, keep following.